I'm Elisabeth Mazanet, I'm from France and I've been living in Cape Town now for 10 years and I'm the founder of Lamarelle. Lamarelle is an accessorized brand, locally made and uh, the characteristic of our uh, brand is we give all our proceeds uh, to a charity called Sylvia's House. So when I arrived in Cape Town, I found a beautiful country. Of course, we have to adapt at the beginning with the security issues. I'm not necessarily at our ease and I didn't know how to drive on the left side and all this kind of discovery for me. We enrolled our kids in a school and I started meeting parents and I met two other moms at the French school. We became friends and we decided to launch a business because we wanted to do something here in South Africa. As we discovered that we couldn't find anything suitable for our kids in terms of clothing and we had a French day, we decided just to launch a new range of uh, children's clothing. So after uh, three years of selling clothing, we just realized that it was not profitable really and that at the end of the year, after all this work, the proceeds were really little. We decided then to reorganize our business and try rather the accessorized business. And we started a jewelry kiddies range, uh, which went very well from the start. And then we extend our range to jewelry for women and then to bags and scarves and all kinds of accessories. So how does La Marelle work? So every year we launch new products with a team that may change year after year because of course as expatriates we are aimed to move but once the team is, uh, is set we design new bags and, and new jewelry and we have a seamstress working for us uh, full time. We then ask her to produce a certain amount of, of products and together we organize sales and we communicate through Facebook and Instagram. We organize what we call pub up sell in private homes and we invite all our customers to come and then they buy. Uh, after the end of the year we just calculate all our proceeds and we give everything to uh, the charity. And uh, our volunteers, one will be more in the communication uh, marketing side and the other one will help me for example with the production and another one will be more in the jewelry making. Uh, we all have our different skills and use them of course for making this uh, adventure a successful business. From the beginning, the idea of giving back. So we wanted to create this business, but uh, also to give back all the proceeds to a charity that we will find. And we found Sylvia thanks to another charity called Santa Show Boxes. The founder of this charity thought of Sylvia as a good orphanage for us to help. We wanted a very small uh, structure to have really an, an impact on them with the, with the little charity we were. So it was really the idea of, of knowing all the kids we were helping. And really when we met Sylvia, we just fell in love with her because she's such an inspirational woman. We really felt that we could trust her uh, from the first meeting, that she, what she was doing was really right. Uh, she was really money wise and trying to save as much as she could and do what she can with the, the little she had. And when we met her, she already had eight kids in her foster care and she's now taking care of 11 kids on her own, so, which is really amazing. The main goal of Lamarel is to finance the orphanage and to help those kids to, to really grow in a safe financial environment. That tomorrow they will be helped financially, that they will be able to go to, to school and, and to have food on the table. Hi there, I'm Sylvia Frank. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and I am the founder of Sylvia's House, which is a foster care home here in Gordons Bay, which is a little beach village in Cape Town. I founded Sylvia's House 20 years ago, 
and started as a safe house at first just to look after children temporarily until they've had all their health checks and then they could be adopted out but that's not necessarily what always happens sometimes the children that came and stayed with me we've had more than 80 children staying here some of them their families got rehabilitated and they went back home some of them couldn't go back home ever because the situation never improved and then when it came to the point of they should leave me and go into mass institutions i said no and so <laughs> Our family grew and we now have Sylvia's house and the 10 children who are here are all permanent and I have raised them and they're wonderful. So my experience of being a foster parent has been a very positive experience. There are a few challenges that any foster parent faces, especially if you're a single foster parent. I'm a single mom so financially it's been a bit of a struggle but there is always a way where there is a will. I had a lot of hard times before I met Elizabeth from Lamarel. We were in a bit of a state and I was in a state and a bit overwhelmed trying to cope alone and it's organizations like Lamarel. Elizabeth came and she's our, our guardian angel, I'm convinced. And she knows all the children very well and she knows the rough times and the good times and she knows the struggles as a parent because I talk to her about everything and she knows the achievements and those achievements have been because of La Morelle, the children have all been given a very good education. And the children who have learning issues are able to have help with their learning issues because of Elizabeth. And I know how hard Elizabeth works to give them all the opportunities. So both of us together, <laughs> we have raised the children. It's been like a long, a long road, but a very productive road. But fortunately, God sent me my angel. <laughs>